Assalamu alaikum and very good morning my dear students. I am Jia Rahman, Sector 14, Magistral School and College. Uh, today I will discuss about uh, geometry, topic is triangle. So already you have learned the previous lesson, term number 4, the, which one the sum of the length of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the length of third side. Also today I will discuss like this, uh, which one is 10 number. But uh, already you have learned this one, this one you have, I think you have better understand. So today first we will discuss the, only the MCQ, so 9.2, everyone open your math book, uh, which page number uh, 150 and 151. Everyone open your math book. Without math book actually you will not understand what I say because I will not write the MCQ question, I will write only the answer. So better understand everyone, please open your math book. And today, uh, here one number that there is a stem A B C where A B C is a triangle where A B here C E is the bisector of angle A C D C E is the bisector of angle A C D and here given A B parallel C E A B parallel C E and given E C D is equal to 60 degree in the given in the question paper here given this one is the stem for only MCQ so we have to solve 1 to 3 1 to 3 MCQ from this uh, step. So one number, which one of the following is the value of angle BAC? We have to find this one. What is the value of this? BAC is equal to what? So here given CE is the bisector of angle ACD. You know the function of bisector. Uh, bisector divides two equal part of an angle. So if this one is 60 degrees, so obviously this one will be 60 degree, right? Because the bisector divides two equal part of an angle. So C is the bisector of angle ACD. So if this one is 60 degrees, so obviously this one would be 60 degree. And this one is 60 degree. Here given also AB parallel CE. AB parallel CE. And here AC they are transversal. While AC they are transversal, so all the triangles are furry. So this one is uh, 60 degrees, so obviously this one will be. 60 degree because alternate angle are equal right this one is alternate because this one is 60 degrees obviously this one will be 60 degree alternate angles are equal so we can write here and one number portion a number uh, one one number portion it will be c number 60 degree now two number two number portion which one of the following is the value of angle acd a C D total measure of angle A C D is equal to 1. Okay, in the previous that means angle E C D E C D here given 60 degree and so already we have got the because the bisector divided to equal part this one is also 60 degree. So 60 plus 60 it will be 120 that means A C D is equal to 122. So answer B number, so answer two number it will be C that means it will be 120 degree. Now three number question. 3 number question here given what type of triangle is ABC? So ABC, actually what type of triangle is this one? So this one is 60 degree and here given AB parallel C, AB parallel C and BC they are transversal. That means BD they are transversal. So when BD they are transversal, the corresponding angle are for this angle and this angle are for corresponding angle, right? So this one is 60 degree, so obviously this one will be 60 degree. So the sum, uh, that means two angle already we got, so what is the value of this angle? Suppose this angle is x degree, we don't know. You know the sum of three angles is equal to, the sum of three angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degree, right? So now we have to find this angle, what would, you, what would be the measure of this angle? So uh, x, suppose x degree plus 60 degree plus 60 degree. Ah, it's equal to, we know the sum of three angles is equal to 180 degree. So now we have to find the x degree. So uh, this 60, 60 plus 120. So 180 minus 120, it will be also 60 degree, right? Right? So now we have to find this one is also 60 degree. So when the all angles are equal, we can tell the all sides are equal here. So we can uh, we can write this one is the equilateral triangle. So three numbers, C number, 
it also answers C, that means which one is equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangle. Equilateral. What type of triangle? Equilateral triangle. Now, phone number. So, 1, 2, 3 already uh, finished this uh, from this system. So, we can erase this one. Okay? Now, phone number. Here given the length of two sides of a triangle, 5 cm and 4 cm. Here given the length of two uh, sides, 5 cm and 4 cm. So, here given the which one of the following is the possible measurement of the other side of the triangle. You know the sum of two sides, that means the previous class we have learned, the sum of two sides is greater than the third side. So, suppose here option A number, here given option A number, question number 4, option A is here 1 cm, option B 4 cm, option C 9 cm, option D 10 cm. We will check this one actually. If I take 1 cm, so sum of two sides, so 4 plus 1, if we add, what will be 4 plus 1, uh, is it greater than 5? Is it greater than 5? Not. 4 plus 1, it will be 5. So, not greater than 5. So, it is not right. So, if I take 4, okay? Now, we will take the 4. So, 4, if I take 4 plus 4, 4 plus 4, it will be greater than 5. Okay? So, maybe this one, this one is correct. Okay? If I don't take 4 and first second, so first one is this, second one is this. So, what will be? 4 plus, uh, uh, 4 plus 5. It will be obviously 4 plus 5, it will be greater than, okay? So that's what, this one is the right answer. And can you check this 9 actually is it right or wrong? So suppose this one is first and second size. So what will be? First and second. So 5 plus 4, uh, is it greater than 9? This one, is it not greater than, right? So, so obviously this one is not great, like this 10 number. So, answer will be B. So, 5 number, we, uh, 4 number we can write. The answer will be B. That means 4 cm. So, 5 number. If one of two acute angles of a right angle triangle is 40 degree. So, first we will draw the one right angle triangle. If we draw the right angle, suppose this one uh, right angle triangle we will draw. So which one is uh, accurately 90 degree this one okay like this this one is uh, now when here given the five number if one of uh, two acute angle of right angle triangle that means this one is six, 90 degree right this one is suppose a b c Right angle triangle, you know, like this. Uh, uh, so one angle is 40 degree. Suppose this one is 40 degree. So what will be complementary? Complementary means 90 degree. Okay, 90 degree. That sum of these two angle of acute angle, it will be complementary. That means 90 degree. So it will be obviously 50 degree. So so uh, five number. Uh, there is no correct answer. A number 40 degree. B number here 45. C number 60. And D number 140 degree. So there is no correct option. So we have to write this 50 degree. Okay. So answer will be okay. We will write the B number, uh, which one is 50 degree, not 45 degree. If not, make it correction. And C number. If the sum of two angles is equal to the third angle of a triangle, you know the sum of this angle is equal to the third angle. So obviously this one will be right angle triangle because this one is the acute angle. So the sum of two angles is equal to the 90 degree. If it is 90 degree or 90 right angle. So, obviously, this one is a right angle triangle. So, C number, it will be C number, right angle. Right angle. Okay. Now, we will solve number 7. Now, we we'll solve question number 7. Uh, so, I have written already the particular initiation because this one is given in the question, given in triangle ABC, where the length of AB is greater than AC. And bisector of angle B and angle C intersect each other at a point P. Uh, and it is required to prove that the PB is greater than PC. That means the length of PB is greater than PC. So, 
Now we will draw this one ABC triangle. First, we will draw this ABC triangle. Uh, which one? Uh, the length of AB is greater than AB is greater. So just AB is greater than. AB is greater than AC. Okay. And so here A, this one is B, this one is C. The length of AB is greater than AC. And here also the bisector of angle B and angle C. Now we draw the bisector. So, bisector that is bisector divides two equal part of an angle. This angle uh, here uh, two equal part will give this point. Also, like this here, this one is a midpoint, and we will draw the bisector. Uh, this angle, this angle is a 60 point something. Okay, so we will uh, draw this minimum 62 so it will be 31 so here so now we will bisect this uh, bisect this one okay and this here and put this one and now I set this angle so this one so already this one is we have to bisect this one is point P okay this one is P we can erase this one this point is this one P now we write already we have bisect this so we can write a step number one uh, PBC angle P, B, C is equal to we can write half angle B. Why? Because P, B is the bisector of angle B. P, B is the bisector. Bisector of angle B. Like this. So, step number 2 we can write also P, C, B. Why? Because P, B, C angle this one is bisector, PB is the bisector of angle B. So this bisector divides two equal part of an angle. Okay. So that's why this one is a half on half angle B of PBC. So now write PCB. PCB is equal to half angle C. Same way we can write this one. PC is the bisector bisector of angle C okay now now in three number step in triangle ABC full triangle we can take ABC that means ABC here the side this side is greater right so when the side is greater opposite angle will be greater which side is the this side is long that means here AB length is greater than AC so when the side is greater in term number two we have learned that means opposite angle will be greater so we can write angle c is greater than angle b now put the value of angle c so first we uh, multiply by half angle c greater than half angle b so uh, multiplied by half on both sides multiplied by uh, first here uh, you can write this one AB already here given in the portion so AB greater AC okay this one when the side length is greater so opposite angle will be greater that's why you can write this one then multiplied by multiplied by half on both side okay both side have multiplied by half so now put the block half angle C what will be Half, half angle C that means angle uh, PCB angle PCB 
greater than a half of angle BCBC angle PBC. So when PCB angle PBC, that means this angle is greater. That means PCB PCB this angle is greater. So that means the opposite side will be greater. Okay, because in term number uh, three year plan, so this angle is greater. So opposite side will be greater. Okay, like this when we have written AB is greater, that means this length is greater. So that angle is greater. So like this, this side is greater. So here given that the angle is greater, so opposite side will be greater. We can write. So therefore, uh, PB. The length of PB is greater than the length of PC. Okay, this one. So it, 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 this one we can write as theorem. Theorem number three. Theorem number three we can write. So this one is. Yeah, we have to prove this one. PB is a PC. This one is proved. Now we solve number ten, uh, but there is a problem in ten number. That means thirteen number ABC. It will be the ten number ABC. So if you make it correction in ten number ABC, so we will solve only the C number uh, today. Uh, so in triangle ABC, I have written already the particular situation. In triangle ABC, uh, where angle B, that means angle ABC is greater than the ACB, and D is the midpoint of the side BC. We have to prove that AB plus AC greater than two AD. Now we have to construct this one. So first we have to draw this one is BC, okay, and uh, angle B is greater than so this side will be smaller obviously. This side will be is smaller uh, like this B and C. And this is a midpoint. So, what is the measure of this one now? Why you have to find this one? Thirty. So, it will be fifteen. Just this one is a midpoint. This one is a midpoint. So, this midpoint is a D. Okay. So, this one is a A. This one is a D. Now we have now join. Now join A D. Join A D. Join A D, and this one we have to extends up to E. Okay, up to E, so that this measurement, this measure, and this measure will be the same. So this one is a E. Okay, this one is E. Just. And join EC. Now join EC. Okay. Now we like the construction first, right? Construction D and then extends AD. This AD up to E already. I uh, have told that we saw that AD is equal to D. AD is equal to D. Now join C and E. Okay. Now we have to. Now I already I have written this particular illustration and construction. Please, if you want write in your copy because I want to erase this one. I will write here the proof. Okay. If you want erase this one, I want to erase this. Now we will prove this. Uh, so first, if you want to draw this uh, like this, so step and justification I will write. So already I have drawn this one. So now write the step one in triangle in triangle ABD ABD and and triangle CDE C C D E. Okay, just we will compare here. So here BD is equal to BD is equal to CD. BD is equal to CD. Why? Because D is a midpoint of BC. D is a 
midpoint of BC. Okay, so inch angle that means uh, inch angle ABD and CDE with this these two triangle will compare. So BD and CD or DC are equal because D is the midpoint of BC. So that's why. And also we can write uh, D is the midpoint of BC this one and AD is equal to D you can write also. AD is equal to DE. Why? Because already given in construction, right? Given in construction. Given construction. Given construction. Okay. And also, and also we can write angle uh, A uh, D B D B equal to angle C D E. C D E. Why? Because this angle, this angle and this angle are vertically opposite angle. They are equal. So A D B that means A D B and C D E. This this one, this one are equal. So therefore we can write triangle A B D congruent. Okay, a congruent C, a triangle C D E. C D E. They are congruent. Why they are congruent? That means when this triangle, this side and this side are equal, this side, this side are equal, and also included angle are equal. Okay, that's that's why this triangle, these two triangles are we can tell this one is a congruent. When you can tell this congruent, when the two sides and included angle are equal, we can tell the interior angle and corresponding side also are equal. The, this one is a SAS theorem. This one is a SAS theorem. SAS theorem. Okay, that means side angle side. That means two sides and included angle are equal. That means we can tell this triangle, this triangle are congruent. So when this triangle are congruent, we can write AB and C also equal because the corresponding side are equal. So in two number we can write AB is equal to CE. Okay. Now three number still we can write in triangle in triangle ACE in triangle ACE that means total this one we can take with the, on one triangle ACE we know the sum of two sides equal to the sum of two sides is greater than the third side so this one is third side we think this one is the sum of two sides we will add this one so in triangle ACE we can write AC plus AC plus CE ah, greater than AE, right? We can write this one AC plus CE. That means AC plus CE greater, greater than AE. And AC plus CE, that means or uh, here AC, that means AC, uh, AC and CE. So AC first we write AC plus C is equal to we can write AB okay C is equal to we can write in step 2 AB we can write AB and AE AE is equal to AD plus AE is equal to AD plus D yeah, AE is equal to AD plus uh, DE okay DE we can write DE okay or uh, just we will write first one AB plus AC get an AD plus AD you can write why AD plus AD because DE is equal to AD we can write here okay so just we will write this step 1 and 2 step 1 and 2 we got this one okay AB is equal to here see I have written so or AB plus AC get equal to AD. This one is proved.